Hello everyone, so we've got a new Birchbox unboxing and overview for you today. This is the October 2012 Birchbox Man sampling box. And for those who don't know, Birchbox is a monthly sample box started with Birchbox for Women, and then six months ago they started Birchbox Man. That is $20 per month, and you fill out a survey when you first join Birchbox, and they give you a random sampling, uh, or a, a somewhat chosen for you, a curated sampling of um, healthcare product, not not healthcare, but um, body care, skin care, grooming, lifestyle products, fun things, just a little random, you know, mix of things in here from clothing items to colognes to face washes to shaving creams, lip balms, fun stuff like that, as well as, you know, lifestyle items, a watch, um, thing, you know, t-shirts, whatever. So it's a, it's a pretty fun thing. I've been satisfied with it. This is their sixth month doing it. So this is their, you know, a semi-anniversary for them. One thing that I was actually quite impressed with their customer service, I always have been impressed with their customer service. It feels like I've, it's been a while since I've done a Birchbox video um, because normally I do them late in the month as opposed to early in the, the actual month of the box. And that's because I, I suppose some of their boxes went out late for October. Um, I got an email saying it went out and then a few days later I got another email saying, sorry if the delay it actually is going out now, not four days ago. But with that, they gave 100 free Birchbox points. Um, you gain Birchbox points in many ways. One of them, uh, the most common way, is by reviewing um, just a simple, you know, star rating review of the products that you've purchased or that you've received in your boxes. You get 10 points um, for doing each product. Uh, referring people, you get points, things like that. But they gave 100 points, which is uh, redeemable for $10 worth of product in their store. So that's actually really nice. You know, it's just a, f a few days late, and they gave what is essentially a $10 store credit or a 50% refund on the October box, which is something they certainly did not have to do. They don't guarantee the delivery time, but just goes to, goes to show they really are, um, you know, top notch when it comes to customer relations and, and keeping their their members happy. So I was very happy with that. Uh, so, but all that aside, let's get right into the October 2012 box and see what we've got. So here we go. We know we've got the slide out drawer. I'll try not to throw things on the floor like I did. The last time, making a big old mess of the place here. Let's see. All right, so we've got that there. Put the box there. All right. All right, so we've got the box here. Try not to peek. Here's the card that explains what everything is, but I don't want to ruin that. I like the surprise of pulling out each little item. But we can see here the guide. It says our online guide is everything from essential advice to monthly box supplies to great moments in male style history and classic cocktail recipes. Here's a taste of what's on tap this month, okay? Now let's just read the overview of the card without giving it away. <laughs> October 25th, gentlemen, perfection is not attainable, said the great Vince Lombardi, but if we chase perfection, we can catch excellence. Keep running your regular routes and doing your usual reps, but be sure to mix it up in this pursuit. Don a tie on a Wednesday, shake up something new behind the bar. This month, let's keep them guessing. Cheers, Birchbox Man. So they always have a little theme to their boxes. Um, they're pretty loose themes, but you know, it's something to tie it all together. So digging right in. All right. First up. Oh, okay. This is, I believe they call this a jigger sometimes. I think one and a half ounce. So it's a shot glass. Let me rip it open here. I don't have to rip it open. It falls out. I'm sure, I'm sure you just love the crinkling noise, right? So it looks like a stainless steel shot glass. Let's read what they have to say about it. All right, that is tippling tool, Birchbox Man Jigger. Okay, so they made this themselves. Uh, it says what? The ultimate barware, a double-sided hourglass-shaped measure. Pour out your spirits precisely before you shake things up. Valued at five dollars. So, I've already got some, you know, bar items, but it never hurts to have extra. And I think it just says so I can try to get a little bit of focus there for you. It says make it a double. So engraved on there, or laser, like etched sort of engraved in there. That's kind of nice. That's, you know, never hurts to have something classy like that. Then, Crew. Oh, American Crew. I've used this, uh, their hair products before. American Crew Classic Body Wash. I wasn't aware that they made body wash. Okay. Let us read about that. That's a pretty decent sample size, actually. That is, um, I'm going to drop it. That is 1.7 fluid ounces of 50 mils. That's not, yeah. I mean, it looks a little bigger than that, but... Um, lather, American Crew, classic body wash, $20 for the full size. Body wash with ginseng root extract and cedarwood bark oil to nourish the skin. Lather onto damp skin in the shower with hands or cloth rinse thoroughly. 
Um, that smells good, or that sounds good. If it's ginseng and cedarwood bark oil, let's see what that. If there's a cedarwood scent to it, as I always do, you got a little. I don't really this. I mean, it's charred. You know what the consistency is going to be. I don't want to make a mess here. Not a super strong scent. You know, if you've if you've seen other you know, videos here on my channel, you know I'm big on fragrance and scent. So that's always what I go for first. It's nice. It's a fresh sort of you know. Definitely the cedarwood oil. A um, little bit woodsy, a little fresh men's um, body wash without being like an overpowering cheap sort of scent. Because um, American Crew is, you know, it's sort of like the high-end drugstore kind of thing. Like some um, some salons will sell their products or special, specialty um, grooming or beauty shops, um, but you can also find it usually as like the more expensive items in a drugstore. So it does not hurt. Let's go for another here, Borghese. Uh, fungo delicato, active mud for delicate dry skin. Ooh, that sounds nice. A mask of sorts. Let's see, it is one ounce, which depending if it's a really thick quality mask, that could be a, a good three or three to five uses. And it says, mask, Borghese fungo delicato. Um, mineral rich mud mask to remove toxins and leave skin clear and hydrated. Apply thin layer to face or body. Let sit five minutes, then remove with warm water. Interesting, they could be used on the body. I, you always think of masks to be face masks, but I suppose if you're looking to remove toxins or, um, you know, exfoliate or just refresh, maybe it would be good on other areas, you know, um, chest or elbows, maybe. If you've got, you know, dry patches of skin on the elbows, maybe to exfoliate to, you know, freshen the skin, I, I suppose. Um, that's nice. That is $35 value for the full price. Um, I've never used Borghese products. I, I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly, um, but I've heard of them for years. I, if I'm thinking correctly of, of the company that I believe this is, um, I think they're you know a pretty well-respected, high up there um, company in the in the you know skincare and um, I think maybe also makeup uh, and you know regimens and things like that uh, world of, of products. So on here, I'm just gonna get this so you can get a better description of exactly what it is. I know it'll focus for us. Come on. Almost. Let's go. All right, come on. Where are we here? All right, cleansing mud mask for delicate dry skin. Oh, no, it doesn't tell us more, really. Apply in a thick layer to cleanse skin. Leave on five or ten minutes. Keep it moist. Remove with wet sponge and rinse with cool water. Use at least once a week. And that's uh, Tokyo. Oh, they're just the different areas, and it's made in the USA. I'm going to get a quick uh, scent check on this and just consistency. If we get, man, the focus, I'm sorry, today is just kind of not great. I don't know what my deal is. It is your typical, oh, yeah, your typical thick mask, um, mud mask sort of thing. Not a big scent to it, but you, it, they certainly don't have to have a strong scent to them. That's not what, you know, their purpose. Um, sometimes they'll have oils in them that have a, a scent, but not required. But I'm excited to try that. Um, I have more to say about that at the end of the video that I'll I'll jump in on that. Um, ah, whiskey stones. I've heard of these. I was going to purchase them once, um, and I didn't. The reviews on Amazon were sort of mixed, um, but it's a fun, I think it's a, a unique idea. They look cool. It's a little gimmicky, but um, whatever, they're still, they're still cool. But let's, let me uh, read the description on those. We've got, what is it? That is Chiller Terraforma Whiskey Stones, $20 for a set of nine. And it says, hand-milled Vermont soapstone cubes to keep your liquor chilled. Store and freezer, drop two rocks in a glass, top with your spirit of choice. So essentially, what this what these are, and this is, I think this may actually be a full set. I don't think these are samples. I believe this is probably the full set of nine, or the set of, this is a set of six. So you can get nine for $20. Um, six, maybe this is 15 or $18, or maybe the nine is a typo on their postcard, because I, I could see six, you know, this being a $20 value. But what it is here, um, so essentially, they are small rocks that you put in your freezer, and then you put those into your, um, oh, this has a nice opening here. Um, you put them into sort of your, your spirits, your straight up, um, I'm totally ripping this to get into it. You see what I'm doing for you folks? I'm tearing my packages apart. <laughs> Um, you put these in your freezer, and then you put them in your spirits that you don't want to water down with ice, and they are tiny little rocks. In fact, I have a glass of water here. I'm just going to dunk them in there so you can see what they look like when, when they're wet. So they are little sandstones. Obviously, you don't want them jangling around 
harshly in your glass. There's the whole set there with a little pouch. Um, but they, you know, they hold the, the cold temperature for a while without watering down your cocktail uh, or your, you know, straight up, you know, sipping uh, spirits or, or liquor. And um, they just, you know, they're an interesting little kind of classy touch, a little something to impress your guests. So I'm really excited for that. That's, that's nice. That's, that's really a fun thing. A bunch of other little things going on here. Uh, let's see, this is just a, a ton of the coupon for Casker's Spirits. Not sure what that is. Let's see if it says here. Gift card $10. A head start towards small batch spirits you won't find in your local liquor shop. Redeem gift card at Caskers.com. Share your spoils with good company. Um, that may or may not be a good deal. It's hard to say. Sometimes things like this are, you know, it looks like a $10 coupon and, you know, for products that are $60. So, which again, I mean, $10 off is $10 off, but um, a lot of times cards like this that look like they're, you know, a value of money are more like a coupon as opposed to a gift card. So, again, that's just what I'm assuming right off the bat. I could be wrong. There might be things for $15. You pay 5 bucks, and that's, that's a good deal. Um, but my assumption is this is more like a coupon as opposed to a gift card. Either way, $10 off, I'll take it. Might not order it, but I'll take, <laughs> I'll take the deal. Two more things in here. This is, a, this is a full month, my goodness. This is Oribe Signature Shampoo and Signature Conditioner. So let us read without anything else to stay. Yes. Let us read. That is the very f second Suds Signature Shampoo and Conditioner, $32 to $35. Rich coconut infused shampoo and conditioner formulated for everyone. Lather with shampoo and rinse. Work in conditioner. Wait a minute, then rinse. Okay. So I can't rip into this because it's just, you know, the foil packet um, of product, and each of them is seven mils. So it's, pr it's probably meant to be one use, certainly if it was a woman with long hair. For me, as a guy with short hair, I can probably do two uses out of each of these to see what they're like. Um, what does it say here? Every morning should start with a little indulgence, such as this rich daily cleanser custom blended from the most exclusive ingredients to silk and detangle and protect. Prepare your hair for glamour. Lather, indulge, and rinse. Uh, formulated without parabens or sodium chloride. Uh, color and keratin treatment safe. UV protection for hair. Small indulgence, not for over individual sale. And I've heard a bit about this. Um, I believe that, yeah, it's parabens-free. Or parabens-free, I believe it also is... Uh, probably ha is sodium lauryl sulfate free, um, which means it doesn't suds probably as much as a standard shampoo or conditioner, um, but it's c much healthier for uh, your hair and I think also probably the environment. So that is, um, if if the box wasn't so full, I might not be so thrilled with that, but um, because the sample is kind of small, but it's, you know, hey, it's an extra throw that they really didn't have to include with as busy as this box is. Then we've got, I'm um, saving what, for me, may be the best for last. I, you know, I love the fragrances, and it looks like we've got another fragrance sample, and it's got a little atomizer spritzer on it, which I love when they have that. So this is Cartier Declaration. I'm sure with that, the accent of the E, it's supposed to be some sort of, you know, French declaration. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not going to do a French accent, sorry. Uh, I would... Maybe I could do a, a Spanish accent, but... Uh, so, a spicy, woody freshness, combining the strength of cedarwood to the freshness of cardamom, a perfume to say things that matter. Wow, okay, that is interesting. And it's an eau de toilette. I'm guessing that might be unisex. Let's see what it says. Lather, suds, mask, finishing touch, Cartier Declaration. $75 value. A scent for men who know what they want to express what can't be said. Citrusy notes of bergamot and bitter orange blend with rich oak moss. Okay, that is perfect for fall. Um, Cartier is, you know, it's known for years in fragrance. I'm going to spray this. I'll spray it right on the card, actually, and I'll give a, a quick scent review. Mm, come on. All right. So, yeah, it's a nice little, decently sized, you know, sample with a spritz. That'll get at least probably a, a good five to seven days. Oh, it's much lighter than I thought it would be. Sorry, I don't mean to jump the camera around here. Very light um, and fresh, considering, you know, bergamot, citrus can go either way, but with oak moss or cedarwood, I thought it would be really intense. It's funny, um, and I got a, a good full spritz there. Um, if you see if you see it in my other videos, I just did a review for um, Bath & Water Works Slack & Co., a forest collection of candles, and they have some candles that have cedarwood in them, they have candles that have uh, oak, moss, bergamot, so this is sort of right up the the same uh, alley as those notes. And it, almost, it smells similar to those, those candles. I like this a lot. It's not what I would expect. Um, 
based on the the notes because I thought I really thought it'd be a heavier, intense, really woodsy. But I guess the citrus makes it brighter. I'm actually going to spray it on my wrist to see if I can get a a more accurate representation. Yeah, it's got a little bit. Of, you can definitely get the moss sort of mineralization to it. So I don't have a cold. I'm just sniffing here. Yeah, it's actually very nice. It's unique. It's not overpowering. It's not an old man cologne, as some people would call, you know, a, a scent that has woods to it because of that bergamot. But it's not a bright citrus like a young male scent that, you know, citrus has a tendency to be really very bright. But the bergamot and bitter orange is a little bit more, it's somewhat floral as far as the notes go. I believe, again, I believe, a little bit more floral to it, um, uh, but a, a darker like thicker citrus as opposed to just a bright juicy citrus. Really nice. I'm gonna give that a shot. And, you know, I love that, you know, with the box, they this is like maybe the third or fourth cologne. Um, there were a few months where they didn't have any, but this is the third or fourth fragrance, um, in this case, an eau de toilette. Um, and I've got a nice little, you know, a, a mini collection of some samples here. I used up, I think, the first one, but I've got the Bulgari from last month and, and now this Cartier. That's, that's great. It really, it's a nice way to test fragrances out and see what works before I purchase one. I think I'll probably end up purchasing a fragrance with my uh, Birchbox points. So that's great. Really a full box this month, you know? So we're, we've got here um, the body wash, the shampoo conditioner sample, the mask, the finishing touch with the um, the fragrance here. We've got the the jigger. They, oh, it was right. See a jigger. Uh, the jigger that they throw, throw in, the whiskey stones, and then the $10 gift card, which is, you know, take it or leave it, it's there. So really a very nice assortment here, uh, a nice collection. Um, I was gonna, there was something I was coming back to, I was going to say, I forget. Oh yes, um, I, the only reason I'm familiar with the Oribe, or, or Oribe, I'm not sure, I think it's Oribe, is because I actually, um, I was lucky enough to win a Birchbox contest through their Facebook wall, um, or timeline, rather, um, and through tagging videos. So I tag um, a video, I believe it was my August video of Birchbox Man August 2012 unboxing, I think was the, the hashtag they used, and the YouTube tag. Um, and it was just a contest for unboxing video and videos and reviews to win a sampling of full-size products from their August boxes. Um, so I ended up, I was lucky enough to win that, and they sent me a box that had um, maybe like seven or eight different products in it. I'm going to do, I, I think I'm going to do a review um, of, of those products. It won't be an unboxing because I, I was excited and tore into it when I received it uh, just about a week and a half, two weeks ago. But in that, um, it wasn't just purely August items. It, it had some other stuff in it. In this case, it actually had the full-size products of the Oribe. So I did some research on those because I was not familiar with them. And um, they're sold in high-end department stores, you know, Neiman Marcus, things like that. So, um, and they do, the retail on them is, you know, I think it is around $30 for a shampoo. So it's certainly a very high-quality shampoo. So it's great to, um, I haven't tried them yet, but to give that a try. But so stay tuned uh, within the next week or two. Hopefully, I'll get it together to review all the products they sent because it was um, a really nice mix of things, and I was super grateful um, that they that they did that and they they selected my video. Whether they enjoyed it or it was random, I I really appreciated that. So again, just a great overview of the collection uh, from the October 2012 Birch Box mask. Lots of um, body care with this one, and then of course the the whiskey stones and the jigger, which is a fun little. Um, add on there. I know that some of the boxes had, I think, maybe ties in them. Um, so check out other videos that might have a different mix. But again, I'm very happy with this. Um, I think in the, the original surveys, I probably said that I, I liked cocktails, you know, mixology, and I like fragrance. So, um, and I like things like masks and, you know, eye creams or, or face uh, grooming products that aren't just, uh, you know, a, a, um, a cleanser. So, Really, overall, I'm super happy with this month. I think they've done a great job, so cheers to y'all at Birchbox Man. Uh, if you have any questions about these products or anything else, please comment below. I'll be happy to follow up to let you know how I like these and answer any questions you may have. And until next time, take care.